and Oxford firms completed a trial of a new type of smart glasses, which can help people who are visually impaired avoid collisions and get around more independently. People who've taken part were able to describe people standing several metres away and recognise faces and expressions. Oxite has secured more money to further develop the glasses. Mark Gravelay has been to find out more. Now you see it. Now you don't. 360,000 people are registered as blind in the UK. For many, it's been hard to envision a clearer tomorrow. But that was before a team from Oxford invented these. We've created a pair of smart glasses, which are a computer assistant for people who have got very, very low sight. And what they're designed to do is to help enhance any remaining vision that a person who is legally blind has, so they can find objects and obstacles and faces and text and make it much easier to see. Chris Turner from Didcot was part of a nationwide trial of the product last year. Well, a major challenge is um, out and about, in, particularly after dark, in places I don't know. But it also, uh, going from light to dark and dark to light, I find that very difficult. Chris is one of two million people in the UK with a visual impairment, which can make everyday life very, very difficult. But with a pair of these glasses, he sees things very differently. He can see shapes, he can see light and dark, which makes getting around a lot more easy. And I was able to see the outlines of all, all sorts of things, you know, flower pots, flagstones sticking up, all that, all that sort of thing. And I went through our lounge with all the lights out, and I was able to negotiate myself from one door to the next. New investment means the team will continue to develop the glasses, but they already have their sights set on the next challenge. This technology has several other applications, and I think one of the other dreams uh, that uh, I'm sure my colleagues will agree with uh, me is that uh, we want to make a television for blind people in the near future so that they can see it without any hindrance. It's hoped the glasses will be available from next year, allowing the team to finally see their vision come to life. Matt Graveling. BBC South Today. <laughs>